First, it's Hour 18 plans to build a sprawling federal immigration detention center 90 miles southwest of Chicago. They're moving forward. We first told you about this on CBSChicago.com. Now there's one big problem. Lawmakers say opening it would be illegal. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff is live outside the Thompson Center. Dana, this seems to be a flagrant attempt to ignore the law. Yeah, Brad and Erica, or at least sidestep that state law for now, but it could also signal the beginning of a potential showdown between Illinois, Illinois lawmakers and the federal government. It's infuriating. The impunity of it is really disgusting. State Representative Kelly Cassidy is using her anger to fuel a fight if needed. The Chicago lawmaker is reeling after learning from a CBS2 story that Immigration Centers of America, a for-profit detention operator, and Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, are still planning to build in Dwight, planning to build a center a year after she helped pass a law making those for-profit facilities illegal here. So it's been abundantly clear that, that this site cannot move forward, that this project in the state of Illinois cannot move forward since last June. And yet, completely ignoring that, they, they've started this process back up. This letter obtained by CBS2 outlines plans for the facility once an environmental assessment is complete. It would sit just east of I-55 outside Dwight's downtown and bring 362 jobs to the struggling area. I can appreciate the situation that Dwight is in. I want them to, to get the development they deserve. I want them to get real and humane development. Dwight's village president, Jared Anderson, says he's aware of the law passed last year, adding ICE contacted the village about proceeding. When pushed about why facility plans are proceeding anyway, he would only say ICE is aware of the law, bringing it back to that possible showdown. We absolutely have the ability to tell units of local government that they that they can't engage in this. And that's that's how this law is crafted. In past reports before before the law was passed, Dwight's village president is on record saying he wants that detention facility to be built in Dwight. I reached out repeatedly this afternoon to ICE and to the Department of Homeland Security and just a few minutes ago, I heard back from an ICE official who said it would be inappropriate to comment right now because no contract has yet been awarded. Erica? Hmm, okay, no contract awarded, no comment from them. But what do you believe will be happening next, Dana? Well, considering the plans are, are clearly moving forward in some capacity, Representative Cassidy says she has reached out to the Illinois Attorney General. She's reached out to Governor J.B. Pritzker's office. She has also called uh, Senator Dick Durbin and Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. But exactly what happens now if ICE and DHS continue to move forward is a little bit unknown because it's sort of uncharted territory. Erica? All right. Political investigator Dana Kosloff, thank you.